Hey, what's up, YouTube land? It's your boy, Eddie Hill, the White Oak, Pennsylvania toy collector, and it's time for another Eddie Hill review. It's review time, people. And today, we'll be reviewing Transformers Prime Megatron. And yes, he is an awesome-looking spaceship robot figure, and he is just so amazing, and I'm so glad to finally own this. As you know, Transformers Prime Megatron, in no matter what universe, in the G1 or otherwise, he is the leader of the Decepticons, and he is my number one favorite Decepticon. When I found this guy at, at Rossi's Flea Market for only five bucks, and was able to put him together, I was so happy, and I was so happy to own him. It made me excited. Will I pick up any more Transformers Prime action figures? Yes, they are awesome. They look amazing. And they're a whole lot of fun. But now it's been a minute. Let's look at this figure's glory. The spaceship mode is amazing. I don't have the original Fusion Cannon, but I do have this Construct Bots Cannon with the blades from Sh Kickback. On his vehicle mode, covering up that robot mode head. And the vehicle mode looks very amazing. I won't do any other comparisons because I don't want to take the time to do comparisons right now. Except we're in robot mode. So let's get down to transforming him. First, we're going to disconnect that cool looking cannon. Because you see, I connected the kickback blades from the Legacy Kickback. To make an epic, cool-looking fusion cannon. I call the Omega Cannon, as I call it. Yeah. And it just popped loose on me, so i got to go put it back together. So the Omega Cannon is extremely cool for a cannon. I love making custom pieces for my Decepticons. And yes, you'll see this weapon combined into a super... Saw that combined to its super weapon mode. But now we're going to transform Megatron. First, we're going to unfold the legs down like so. Fold these pieces upwards like so. And now we're going to pull the arms out of the hinges that go right into these pegs in his inner arm socket right there and second verse just like the first pop the arm rotate it outwards flip it down like so rotate the arm so it goes perfectly rotate at the bicep second verse just like the first and then you're going to first you're going to pull this down and out and flip this up, rotate his legs, and straighten them out like so. And then you're going to peg in his backpack, straighten out his arms, and these pieces right here will become his classic Transformers Prime shoulder pads. And then we work on the feet, which you just do it like so. So you got the feet all transformed with several easy steps. And there you got Leader Megatron in all his glory. But he is missing his... We gotta give him his cannon of Autobot Destruction. My copy is really... This peg on mine is really loose. And we'll give him the saber I made just for him. Using the kickback energy blades into his... Dark Energon Sword, if I can get him to hold it. Sorry about that. He doesn't want to hold his Blade of Chaos. Oh, now I got him wielding the, the, his Blade of Chaos. And there we got Megatron from Transformers Prime. In all his Decepticon glory. And look at the paint and sculpted on this guy. It's still amazing. After all these years. It's a shame I don't have his proper fusion cannon. I really pity not finding it. But if I did, he would be more complete. 
but he's still ready to lead the Decepticons. The paint and sculpting on him is real amazing. Got knee bends for his legs, which is just awesome. Give him some dynamic poses, like you have him run in and be like, after Prime with his Dark Energon sword, which uh, this one does not want to stay plugged in, so I will state it is a not a solid connection. But yeah, it looks pretty cool. But I'm just going to probably leave the cannon just pegged in like that when I display him on my shelf because he is amazing, man. Arms are on really good hinges. Ball jointed shoulders, which look amazing and pretty much prime style. Even his backpack looks downright amazing. With these details are amazing. It looks like he just popped out of the Transformers Prime show. But now that we've done this, looking at his articulation and talking about him, we're going to get down to comparisons with some other Transformers Prime Decepticons. And then we'll do how many Transformers Prime Decepticons I own. Here we got Predaking, Legend-style Predaking. I don't own a lot of big Transformers Prime figures, so this is my first. Here we got his Scientist from the Creo Battle Changers. It's Shockwave. I would love to have the bigger Shockwave to go with that Megatron. It would just look awesome. Of course, with the Starscream repaint, or what I call him, because he looks like Thrust with the colors. So here's Starscream Thrust next to Megatron. And of course, with good old Nemesis Prime. I don't have the Takara Tomy Nemesis Prime, which is a hard-to-find figure, and it's probably really expensive, so... This is the best comparison I got, which is the Universe Classics one. Of course, with good old Arachnid, if I can get her, next to Megatron. A lot of these figures are small compared to this guy. But here's Arachnid. The treacherous Arachnid, as much as Starscream's treacherous. Of course, with his Viacon Troopers. Here is Viacon Trooper number one, which I have a weapon from a random... Studio Series release, because I don't have another one of these purple blasters to give him. And, of course, with his Jet Viacon, I don't own the bigger Viacons or the Takara Tomy Viacons. If I did, I'd have quite the Viacon army for Megatron. As of right now, I only have three, and these other figures are really extremely hard to find. But for now, I'm quite happy with what I got. Is a Transformers Prime Megatron worth adding to your collection? Yes. I paid five bucks for him, and I do not regret picking him up. He is so amazing, and he looks uh, awesome. And I look forward to putting him in my collection tonight, because he is awesome. But now we're going to do a group shot with all the other Decepticons under Megatron's command. First is... Starscream, a.k.a. my Thrust repaint. Predaking, so that makes three. Shockwave, he's number four. Because you know Shockwave, I he's number four. Because you know I like Shockwave. With the little Jet Viacon, makes five. And the two Viacon Troopers, makes seven. Once I get them up here, and they're ready to go battle the Autobots. They just look amazing. And, of course, Arachnid makes eight of these epic Transformers Prime Decepticons. And the last one I got is Nemesis Prime. And do I highly recommend you get these figures? Yes. If you love Transformers Prime as much as I do, these guys are worth the money. If you could find a Transformers Prime Megatron for five bucks out the cannon, I highly recommend you get him. But you'd have to find a cannon for him to complete him. Well, I'm so glad I have this fill-in cannon. If I ever get his real cannon, he'll be kept in my collection for a very long time. 
But now that we're done with this review, we're gonna move all these figures off. And before I end the video, I'm gonna show you what I'm doing for Tuesday because that'll be the last figure I do and I'll have to do an update on all my Transformers Prime figures I own here in my collection. Myself a Transformers, Age of Extinction, Hound. Man, we'll be doing him Tuesday. And I got my other two Age of Extinction figures ready for comparisons. So I look forward to showing you these figures off on Tuesday. And this is Eddie Hill. Moving on and rock on and rock out, YouTube land.